Hello everyone, this is Adventure Story and today we'll talk about hydraulic tools. Hydraulic tools are very important uh, tools because they make a tremendous job for us, they reduce our workload and we must care on them. They are very important because we can release some nuts without any effort, only with hydraulic pressure. But we must care of that because hydraulic pressure is very sensitive and also it's dangerous. When we are working with hydraulic pressure, we wear properly protective equipment, say glasses, uh, also we wear some hand protecting equipment, some gloves, some rubber gloves, so we reduce uh, reduce the damage if there is leakage from some piping or some nuts, hydraulic nuts. Uh, this is very important. Always and also always uh, stay away, stay some uh, space far from the working place. So if something happens, you will not be hit by the hydraulic pressure. Okay. First of all, here we see that already the cover from here, from this space, is taken out and we have the nut and the stud here, okay? Already this surface was cleaned properly, so there is no seizure after removing the bolt. And the next procedure is to put the hydraulic tools, also everything will be cleaned. Also, the surface here down must be cleaned, surface down, so this hydraulic will be evenly touched all sides and the pressure will be distributed evenly. Okay, the hydraulic tools must be touched properly, so to be aligned, this is very important, to work correctly and to not make damage to any parts of them. After that, we apply Molly Coat Better 1000 here. This is very good for reduced seizure, also reduce friction. Molly Coat 1000 is molybdenum disulfit. This is the best product you can use. And also we taste with the pin, the holes, if uh, we can touch the holes, we can turn them freely, see the space, we check the space below. As you can see, we check the holes, if we can unscrew after that. This is the Molly Code 1000, apply there. By brush, also brush must be clean. Before you apply here in this thread, all brush must be new, cleaned and only used by molecule, nothing else. And the molecule you use, the cover must be closed every time. You keep store somewhere in one locker, far away from dust, from everything, okay? So to not pollute your molecule. Also, if you do not close with cup your molecule, it will dry and after it not long you're working. Okay, this is the hydraulic part. We clean also here very good inside. Also the surface. Okay. Now inside this hydraulic piston, there is some oil inside already. Okay, now we screw it. Already screwed. And after that, 
we turn about half turn as you can see after we tight and here there is a diagram which shows the maximum lift of this piston here this space which you can measure with caliper here okay and here with one allen you unscrew to release air as you can see you release air from hydraulic system this is oil here these some o-rings which close the system okay the maximum lift you can measure the distance a here it depends what right here in the hydraulic tool up maximum lift we say 12 okay 12 it depends your hydraulic tool you must know your hydraulic tools So the arrows measurement, as you can see, he measured with measuring equipment, the distance, and now we connect also, as you can see, all connection must be cleaned. Also very important is these connections, we have some cups, some plastic cups to be protected, and uh, these connections must not be under stress of heating uh, you, you must not hit them on the floor or something like that because they damage and after that you cannot connect them anymore you must be stored them in special place far from dust and covered as you can see we have here gloves and goggles Now we proceed for venting, we release this allen, so the air will go out and start pumping until oil is going out from that hole, this hole, okay? As the oil is coming out, you close this allen and you can proceed for untightening untightening, okay very important is to store your hydraulics uh, jacks in a wooden case so there is not any rust appear in your tools if you store uh, your hydraulic jacks in some clothes you put some cloth, something like that, some rugs, they will be rusty and after that you will need to clean them or they will not work properly, okay? Only in, wo in wooden boxes. As you can see here, there is 900, 990 bar, it depends the engine, you can look the manufacturer manual and from there, from there you understand the tightening pressure and untightening pressure also. When you are pumping at the low pressures, it's better to check for any leakages at the beginning. If you see some drops coming, stop for a little and uh, reduce your pressure back and change this part which is leaking, okay? First, for me, it's better to start pumping easy, easy and after that increase and check each time check your uh, tools for any leakages if there is there any leakages stop immediately and replace that uh, component use your hydraulic equipment slowly so you can avoid any over pressure and overstretch your studs and uh, hydraulic systems. Use with careful. Okay, now we see it's untightening nuts 
Okay, you can turn about so many four four times is enough. Okay, enough to release pressure. As you can see, uh, this guy turned the nut four times about, yes, okay. If you turn only one time and after you release the pressure, maybe you will not turn. You need four to five times to turn the nut to be sure that it will be released after you release the pressure. As the pressure is released, in a zero position of the indicator bar, you can take also your component. As the pressure is released, also some oil is returned to hydraulic equipment here back, okay? There is a reservoir here, which contains the oil, hydraulic oil. Okay, also close the pressure control. Everything must be zero after disconnect. And after you can release your hydraulics. Okay, you turn counterclockwise. And then take out all the components. Your hydraulic oil, you must remember, must be clean, must be pure, and must be also made from manufacturer, not use uh, whatever you like. You cannot use uh, similar oil. But in emergency, if you do not have that oil that is uh, from the factory, you can use any hydraulic oil only in emergency. As you can see with Molycoat, there is very easy to take out the nut. And also, very careful must be done when we handle our nuts. Be careful with easy and care them. Okay, thank you for watching. The, this is Adventure Story. Thank you for watching. And this was and tightening procedure stay tuned coming more videos bye bye